Mike Pence, vice president and man who avoids eye contact with Barbie dolls. <laughs> because it turns out, last year, he was on the campaign trail, and he got attacked. Vice President Mike Pence reveals Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh bit him on the arm. He says he was helping campaign for Congressman Andy Barr last year when the two were invited to see the prize-winning horse in Lexington. Pence says he and Barr were posing for pictures when American Pharaoh bit him so hard on the arm he almost collapsed. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right, the vice president was bitten by a horse. <laughs> and let's be clear, he didn't almost collapse from the pain, he almost collapsed from the pleasure. <laughs> it was like, oh, it hurts so good, don't tell mother about this. <laughs> now, the good news is, the good news is Pence wasn't badly hurt, right? The horse bit him, but then immediately let go because horses don't like the taste of mayonnaise. And <laughs> there's also good news for the horse. Yeah, after it came out that the horse bit Mike Pence, MSNBC has made that horse a paid contributor. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just there like, resist. <laughs> and finally, in some fun news, we might have gotten used to Fox flattering the president all the time, but recently, the great Lou Dobbs took it to the next level. A lot is happening in Washington and all across this great country of ours, and it's because we have a president who is a true leader, in my opinion, one I happen to believe will be regarded as one of this country's greatest presidents, indeed, our greatest. I spent some time in the White House yesterday, and I want to give you an unauthorized quick update on the atmosphere that I witnessed in the White House. The mood in that White House couldn't be more high energy. I've seen a number of White Houses. I want you to know the joint is hopping. At every level, on every floor, <laughs> This White House is energized. There's sunshine beaming throughout the place and on almost every face. The joint is hopping? <laughs> At the end there, when he was rhyming, it sounded like the whitest version of Rapper's Delight ever. It was, it was just like, oh, the joint is hopping throughout the place and sunshine's beaming on everyone's face. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> actually, actually, my favorite part, my favorite part is that he said, sunshine is beaming on almost every face. <laughs> it's almost like even the propaganda about Trump can't go that far. He's like, come on, guys. I can't say everyone in the White House is happy. People know Melania lives there. Come on now. <laughs> but look, but look, I know we drag Trump all the time for watching Fox News whenever he has a chance, but honestly, I get it. Like, I, I honestly get it. If there was a TV channel that talked about me this way, I would watch that shit all day. How can you resist? <laughs> yeah, I would be there all the day. This is like on the news, they were just like, Trevor Noah and the folks at The Daily Show, the greatest comedic minds of our time. The energy couldn't be higher. Their ass cheeks couldn't be firmer. In <laughs> fact, The Daily Show makes heaven look like a cracked den filled with corpses of a thousand cats. <laughs> Seriously, Dobbs did such a good job of pleasing the president. Out of habit, Trump paid him $130,000.